Iranian cuisine comprises the cooking traditions of Iran. The term Persian cuisine is also used, even though the Persians are only one of Iran's native ethnic groups that have contributed to the culinary culture, Iran. S. Culinary culture has historically interacted with the cuisines of the neighboring regions, including Caucasian cuisine, Turkish cuisine, Levantine cuisine, Greek cuisine, Central Asian cuisine, and Russian cuisine. Through the Persianized Central Asian Mughal dynasty, aspects of Iranian cuisine were also adopted into Indian cuisine and Pakistani cuisines. Typical Iranian main dishes are combinations of rice with meat, vegetables, and nuts. Herbs are frequently used, along with fruits such as plums, pomegranates, quince, prunes, apricots, and raisins. Characteristic Iranian flavorings such as saffron, dried lime and other sources of sour flavoring, cinnamon, turmeric, and parsley are mixed and used in various dishes. Outside Iran, Iranian cuisine is especially found in cities of the Iranian diaspora such as London, Los Angeles, the San Francisco Bay Area, Toronto, and especially Los Angeles and its environs. Staple foods Rice the usage of rice, at first a specialty of the Safavid Empire's court cuisine, evolved by the end of the 16th century CE into a major branch of Iranian cookery. Traditionally, rice was most prevalent as a major staple item in northern Iran and the homes of the wealthy, while bread was the dominant staple in the rest of the country. Varieties of rice in Iran include gurd, damsha, champa, duti, smoked rice, lenjin from lenjin county, tarim from tarim county, anbarbu, and others. The following table includes three primary methods of cooking rice in Iran. Bread Second only to rice is the production and use of wheat. The following table lists several forms of flatbread and pastry bread commonly used in Iranian cuisine. Fruits and vegetables Agriculture of Iran produces many fruits and vegetables. Thus, a bowl of fresh fruit is common on Iranian tables, and vegetables are standard sides to most meals. These are not only enjoyed fresh and ripe as desserts, but are also combined with meat and form accompaniments to main dishes. When fresh fruits are not available, a large variety of dried fruits such as dates, fig, apricots and peach are used instead. Southern Iran is one of the world's major date producers, where some special cultivars such as the Bam date are grown. Vegetables such as pumpkins, spinach, green beans, fava beans, courgette, varieties of squash, onion, garlic and carrot are commonly used in Iranian dishes. Tomatoes, cucumbers and scallion often accompany a meal. While the eggplant is the potato of Iran. Iranians are fond of fresh green salads dressed with olive oil, lemon juice, salt, chili, and garlic. Fruit dolma is probably a specialty of Iranian cuisine. The fruit is first cooked then stuffed with meat, seasonings, and sometimes tomato sauce. The dolma is then simmered in meat broth or a sweet and sour sauce. Verjuice, a highly acidic juice made by pressing unripe grapes or other sour fruit, is used in various Iranian dishes. It is mainly used within soup and stew dishes, but also to simmer a type of squash dolma. Unripe grapes are also used whole in some dishes such as korish e cure, lamb stew with sour grapes. As a spice, verjuice powder P -U -D -R -E -Cure, is sometimes reinforced by verjuice and then dried. Typical spices Adbia or chashni refers to a wide variety of pungent vegetables and dried fruits that are used in Iranian cuisine to flavor food. One of the traditional and most widespread Iranian spices is saffron, derived from the flower of crocus sativus. Rose water, a flavored water made by steeping rose petals in water, is also a traditional and common ingredient in many Iranian dishes. Persian hogweed golpar, which grows wild in the humid mountainous regions of Iran, is used as a spice in various Iranian soups and stews. It is also mixed with vinegar into which lettuce leaves are dipped before eating. Some other common spices are cardamom, made from the seeds of several Elateria and Amomum plants, shevad, an annual herb in the celery family of PAC, malab, an aromatic spice made from the seeds of Prunus mahalab, and lingua mani, 
lime that has lost its water content. There are also several traditional combinations of spices, two of which are ard, made from toasted ground hulled sesame seeds, and dalal sauce, made of heavy salted fresh herbs such as cilantro and parsley. Typical food and drinks Typical Iranian cuisine includes a wide variety of dishes, including several forms of kebab, stew, soup, and pilaf dishes, as well as various salads, desserts, pastries, and drinks. Main course Kebab In Iran, kebabs are served either with rice or with bread. A dish of cello white rice with kebab is called cello kebab, which is considered the national dish of Iran. The rice can also be prepared using the kata method, and hence the dish would be called kata kebab. The following table lists several forms of kebab used in Iranian cuisine. Stew Khorish is an Iranian form of stew, which is usually accompanied by a plate of white rice. A korish typically consists of herbs, fruits, and meat pieces, flavored with tomato paste, saffron, and pomegranate juice. Other non korish types of stew such as dizi are accompanied by bread instead of rice. Several Iranian stew dishes are listed within the following table. Soup and ash There are various forms of soup in Iranian cuisine, including sup e jow, barley soup, Sup e espinage, spinach soup, sup e karch, mushroom soup, and several forms of thick soup. A thick soup is referred to as ash in Iran, which is an Iranian traditional form of soup. Also, shol kwalamkar is the Iranian term for hodge podge soup, a soup made of a mixture of various ingredients. The following table lists a number of soup and ash dishes in Iranian cuisine. Palo and dami. Apart from dishes of rice with kebab or stew, there are various rice-based Iranian dishes cooked in the traditional methods of palo and dami. Palo is the Iranian word for pilaf. A palo dish includes rice stuffed with cuts of vegetables, fruits, and beans, usually accompanied by either chicken or red meat. Dami dishes are simply the same thing cooked using the dami method. The following are a number of traditional Iranian rice-based dishes. Other Appetizers Desserts In 400 BC, the ancient Iranians invented a special chilled food, made of rose water and vermicelli, which was served to royalty in summertime. The ice was mixed with saffron, fruits, and various other flavors. Today, one of the most famous Iranian desserts in the semi-frozen noodle dessert known as falud, which has its roots in the city of Shiraz, a former capital of the country. Bastani e Zafarani, Persian for saffron ice cream, is a traditional Iranian ice cream which is also commonly referred to as the traditional ice cream. Other typical Iranian desserts include several forms of rice, wheat and dairy desserts. The following is a list of several Iranian desserts. Snacks Cookies appear to have their origins in 7th century Iran, shortly after the use of sugar became relatively common in the region. There are numerous traditional native and adopted types of snack food in modern Iran, of which some are listed within the following table. Drinks Iran is the world's seventh major tea producer, mostly cultivated in its northern regions. In Iranian culture, tea K, is so widely consumed, and is typically the first thing offered to a guest. Iranians traditionally put a lump of sugar cube in the mouth before drinking the tea. Rock candies are also widely used, typically flavored with saffron. Iran S. Traditional coffee, kave, or cafe, is served strong, sweet, and booby trapped with a sediment of grounds. In 16th century Safavid Iran, coffee was initially used for medical purposes among the society. Traditional coffee houses were popular gatherings, in which people drank coffee, smoked tobacco, and recited poetry. 
especially the epic poems of Sanaim. In present-day Iran, cafes are trendy mostly in urban areas, where a variety of brews and desserts are served. Turkish coffee is also popular in Iran, more specifically among Iranian Azeris. Wine may, has also a significant presence in Iranian culture. Shirazi wine is Iran's historically most famous wine production, originating from the city of Shiraz. By the 9th century, the city of Shiraz had already established a reputation for producing the finest wine in the world, and was Iran's wine capital. Since the 1979 revolution, alcoholic beverages have been prohibited in Iran, though non-Muslim recognized minorities i.e. Christians, Jews, and Zoroastrians are allowed to produce alcoholic beverages for their own use. While non-alcoholic beer abjau, is available from legal outlets, other citizens prepare their alcoholic beverages illegally through the minority groups and largely from Iraqi Kurdistan and Turkey, Araq Sagi, literally meaning, doggy distillate, is a type of distilled alcoholic beverage in Iran which contains at least 65% pure ethanol. It is usually produced at homes from raisins, and is similar to Turkish reiki. Prior to the 1979 revolution, it had been produced traditionally in several cities of Iran. Since it was outlawed following the 1979 revolution, it has become a black market and underground business. The following table lists several Iranian cold beverages. Regional Iranian cuisine Azerbaijani cuisine the Azerbaijani people, living primarily in the region of Azerbaijan in northwestern Iran, have a number of local dishes that include ban of kebabi, vine of kebabi, the dumpling dish of joshpara dusper, a dish identical to the Scottish haggis that is called jacker bakur, a variety of ash called klakos, a variation of kaim that is called pakak, and a variation of kuft that is called tibriz kuft si. There is also the traditional pastry of shekerbora, skerbora, which is identical to Khorasan's shakarpare, sakarpare. Despite the influences from Turkey, the food tastes noticeably Iranian, though also with its own unique features, such as using more lemon juice and butter than other groups of Iranians. Baluchi cuisine Meat and dates are the main ingredients in the cuisine of Iran's southeastern region of Baluchistan. Rice is primarily cultivated in the region of Makran. Foods that are specific to the Iranian region of Baluchistan include tanershe, taranka, tanners, a local variety of grilled meat that is prepared in a tanner, dub pa, dak pa, a type of korish that contains dub, and tabahag, tabahag, that is meat prepared with pomegranate powder. Baluchi cuisine also includes several date-based dishes, as well as various types of bread. Caspian cuisine the southern coast of the Caspian Sea, which consists of the Iranian provinces of Gilan, Mazandaran, and Golestan, has a fertile environment that is also reflected in its cuisine. Kata is a method of cooking rice that originates from this region. This type of rice dish is also eaten there as a breakfast meal, either heated with milk and jam or cold with cheese and garlic. Caviar fish roes also hail from this region, and are typically served with eggs in frittatas and omelets. Local cookies kolus, of the region are also popular. Kurdish cuisine The region of Kurdistan in western Iran is home to a variety of local ash, pilaf, and stew dishes. Some local Kurdish dishes include a traditional grilled rib meat that is called donde kebab, a type of korish made of chives that is called zoras e ter, and a dish of rice and baked apple that is called sib palo. Southern Iranian cuisine The food of southern Iran is typically spicy. Mayawa is a tangy sauce made of fermented fish in this region. Being a coastal region, Khuzestan's cuisine includes especially seafood, as well as some unique local beverages. In southern Khuzestan, there is also a variation of kuf that is known as kiba and is made of ground meat, cracked wheat, and various spices. Turkmen cuisine Iran's Turkmen people are predominantly centered in the Iranian provinces of Golestan and North Khorasan. Chegderme, Sekderme, is a Turkmen dish made of rice, meat, and tomato paste. Structure Meals 
Breakfast The basic traditional Iranian breakfast consists of a variety of flat breads, butter cubes, white cheese, whipped heavy cream, sarshir, often sweetened with honey, and a variety of fruit jams and spreads. Many cities and towns across Iran feature their own distinct versions of breakfast dishes. Patch, a popular traditional dish widely eaten in Iran and the neighboring Caucasus, is almost always only served from 3 in the morning until sometime after dawn, and specialty restaurants serving only patch are only open during those hours. Lunch and dinner Traditional Iranian cooking is done in stages, at times needing hours of preparation and attention. The outcome is a well-balanced mixture of herbs, meat, beans, dairy products, and vegetables. Major staples of Iranian food that are usually eaten with every meal include rice, various herbs, cheese, a variety of flat breads, and some type of meat, usually poultry, beef, lamb, or fish. Stew over rice is by far the most popular dish, and the constitution of these vary by region. Traditional table setting and etiquette Traditional Iranian table setting firstly involves the tablecloth, called sofra, and is spread out over either a table or a rug. Main dishes are concentrated in the middle, surrounded by smaller dishes containing appetizers, condiments, and side dishes, all of which are nearest to the diners. When the food is perfectly served, an invitation is made to seat at the sofra and start having the meal. Historical Iranian cookbooks Although the Arabic cookbooks written under the rule of the Abbasid Caliphate One of the Arab Caliphates which ruled Iran after the Muslim invasion include some recipes with Iranian names, the earliest surviving classical cookbooks in Persian are two volumes from the Safavid period. The older one is entitled, Manual on Cooking and Its Craft. Kar Name Dar Bab e Tabashi V A Sanat Ian, written in 927 1521 for an aristocratic patron at the end of the reign of Ismail I. The book originally contained 26 chapters, listed by the author in his introduction, but chapters 23 through 26 are missing from the surviving manuscript. The recipes include measurements for ingredients. Often detailed directions for the preparation of dishes, including the types of utensils and pots to be used, and instructions for decorating and serving them. In general, the ingredients and their combinations in various recipes do not differ significantly from those in use today. The large quantities specified, as well as the generous use of such luxury ingredients as saffron, suggest that these dishes were prepared for large aristocratic households, even though in his introduction, the author claimed to have written it for the benefit of the nobility, as well as the public. The second surviving Safavid cookbook, entitled, The Substance of Life, A Treatise on the Art of Cooking, Madat al-Hayat, Risala dar elm e tabashi was written about 76 years later by a chef for Abbas I. The introduction of that book includes elaborate praise of God, the prophets, the imams, and the shah, as well as a definition of a master chef. It is followed by six chapters on the preparation of various dishes, four on rice dishes, one on kalia, and one on ash. The measurements and directions are not as detailed as in the earlier book. The information provided is about dishes prepared at the royal court, including references to a few that had been created or improved by the shahs themselves. Other contemporary cooks and their specialties are also mentioned. See also Mazandarani cuisine Kurdish cuisine Azerbaijani cuisine Agriculture in Iran Nimitnama i Nasiruddin Shahi, a medieval Indian Persian language cookbook Notes References Further reading Daniel, Elton L., Mahdi, Ali Akbar 2006. Culture and Customs of Iran. Greenwood Press. pp. 149-155. ISBN 978-0-313-32053-8. Aspazi.
Cooking, Encyclopedia Iranica, December 15, 1987.